One, two, three, four, one. Um, let's uh, start with the first measure of the break where you, you kick into the tune. You're going to start here at this position at 7 and 8 on the 3rd and 2nd strings. Index finger, 7th fret of the 3rd string, and your middle finger on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. You're going to start there. Then you're going to add your ring finger at the 9th fret 3rd string to catch that melody note. And then you're going to change positions and go into this position at 8 and 9 on the first two strings. Index finger on the 8th fret 2nd string and ring finger at the 9th fret 1st string. That's pretty much the home position for a lot of up the neck Earl Scruggs type breaks is this 8 and 9. It's based on the full D-shaped chord there at 7, 8, and 9. But by playing just a piece of the chord, then it leaves your, your middle finger and your pinky free to reach for other notes, which is what you'll need when you play the break. So you kick off there at 7 and 8. And then you switch to the home position, the main position for the break, there at 8 and 9. And it sounds like this. <laughs> 